uh, Matthias Christiansen and Christina Pedersen against Seidel and Effler of Germany. It's a mixed doubles coming up after having watched the women's doubles, 44 minutes of world number one Fukushima and Hirota winning fairly comfortably against Fuogo and Tuzen of Denmark. Here we've got the mixed doubles draw. And uh, you can see it's the bottom half here and Christiansen and Peterson are seeded number five because they are at the moment number five in the world. Still not decided who they're going to play, but chances are it will be Ahmad and Natsir, the Olympic champions from 2016 from Indonesia. And here we got the two German players, Linda Effler and Marvin Seidel. They are number 25 on the world ranking based on 16 tournaments. And here we got the Danes. Uh, and all the spectators applauding for the Danes to enter the court here, Christina Peterson. And followed by Matthias Christiansen, number five on the world ranking. And that's based on 13 tournaments. No doubt the two Danes are overwhelming favourites to win, but uh, never say that. You always have to respect your opponents. You never know what's going to happen. And here, the two Danes, Christina Peterson, and the head-to-head -head is 1-0 for Matthias and Christina. They played at the French Open 2017. And the two Danes, they won comfortably in two games at that time. Who will receive? I will receive. Take this spot. Five, five. Okay. So the Danes uh, take the slow end. And uh, the Germans are starting to serve. Matthias Christiansen in the picture. He's born in Bornholm and he is 24 years of age, 188 centimeters, and as I mentioned, ranked five in the world. And the highest they have been is five, and they have stayed as number five in the world for 16 weeks. And last time was just the other week, 11th of October, when the ranking came out. Christina Peterson, 32 years of age, 178, and the same ranking applies in terms of actual ranking but she has been as high as number one in the world with Joachim Fischer Nielsen a partnership that started in 2007 and finished here in 2017 the results so far here they beat Wang Chi Lin and uh, Li 21-19 21-17 in 44 minutes in the first round yesterday Marvin Seidel, 22 years of age, 190 centimetres high, ranked 25 in the world. And they have been as high as number 12 in the world, and that was on the 5th of July, 2018. Linda Effler, age 23, 178 centimetres. And of course, the same ranking applies and yesterday they had a really, really good win against Sam McGee and Chloe Ready McGee, the brothers and sisters of Ireland, where they won 21-12, 21-15. And the McGees are not a bad combination. And the umpire from England is Gavin Smith. And uh, the service judge is a freak Cox of Netherlands, of Holland. Sweating a lot, so I have to use my quick talk quite often, but I haven't read it. Okay.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Marvin Emil Siedl, Linda Effler, Germany. On my left, Matthias Christiansen, Christina Pedersen, Denmark. Linda Effler to serve to Matthias Christiansen. The ball. Play. Service caught, a four, caught already by Cox, the service judge from Holland. The best match I've seen so far from the Danes was uh, when they played the All England this year in March where they, in the semi-final, lost to Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong, the world number one. They lost 21-19 in that final and deciding game. But what a match it was. It was really awesome to watch. And it's called out and we will have a challenge straight away. Call in, so we have a correction. And uh, the German combination got to the final of the US Open Super 300 tournament this year, where they actually lost to Chan Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying in two straight games, 19 and 15. We just saw the Malaysians going through to the quarterfinals tomorrow, earlier today. Otherwise, they have won the Spanish International in 2015 and the White Knights International Challenge in Russia in 2017. And if we talk about the experience, we must say that Christina Peterson have tried this a lot. She has actually won this tournament in mixed doubles four times with York and Fisher. Saw the two Danish coaches, it's, uh, Thomas Downgo and uh, Kenneth Jonasson. So it's been a good start for the German pair. They are 5-3 up. Good block there by Iffler. And good interception there by Iffler. 6-3 for the Germans. Service over, 6-3.
Yeah, good dive there by uh, Seidel. Saved it really nicely, however, all in vain. But it just shows the commitment. Look at that, getting it back. And then partner Linda Effler was not as successful in her defensive shot. Seidel was asking the umpire, you know, how long time is she ready or how long can she hold it before she serves? And I think he's got a point. <laughs> Christina Peterson is holding her serve for a very, very long time before she actually serves it. And I think it's just a fair question to ask, you know, how long can she hold it? thing is that as long as the uh, umpire and the service judge finds it okay, you know, the Germans can do nothing about it, but they must not get annoyed by it. And I feel at the last few points they've been quite annoyed by the fact. And they have to forget it and just play on. Pair got a silver at the European Championship earlier Eight, this year seven. when they lost to Atcock and Atcock. They got a quarter final at the World Championship in Nanjing where they lost to Chang Nang and Liu Jinhui. And then China Open, they got another quarter final, lost to Wang Yu Liu and Wang Dongping. And then Korea Open just a few weeks ago, Super 500 tournament, they lost the final to Ho Ji Ting and Gu Yui. Final in Korea was lost in two straight Eight. games, 21-18, 21-16. But it has been a good year for the two Danes and uh, has brought them to number five in the world. On the, the road to Guangzhou, the PWF HSBC year-end finals, the Danes are number 10. They have to get into top eight to qualify for the event. Nine, eight. So 
over, 10-9. So who will go into the mid game interval with the lead at 10 off? Denmark will do that. 11 10 for Christiansen and Peterson. And we've got Tom, Thomas Downgold on the court, and that took 11 minutes. Come for 1 to 4. Ik gerne på træerne er rigtig gode. Det åbner lige, da vi kommer på. Når han ligger og slår den første cut der, den jeg siger til sidst her, du må ikke kræve noget dernede fra, for der, der står hun helt oppe i hovedet på, på den. Smid den op til ham igen. Hvis du ikke kan skubbe forbi lige, så må du smide op til ham igen. Så må og ellers må vi flytte ham, og så må du stå med høj ketchup. Så kommer der et flash smash. Ikke? Det, det bliver for svært for dig at skulle kræve hernede fra. Ikke? Kom så her. Kom, godt med Thomas. Stimmt gut anfangen. Ja, machen genau das, was wir machen wollen so. Und ihr habt die auch schon im Stress drin. Wichtig ist jetzt für uns, dass wir immer diese Ruhe finden, dann die Blocks mit reinzunehmen, ne? Weil die Angriffsdinger sind eigentlich gut für uns. So, er hat jetzt auch nicht mehr ganz so den Schritt vorgemacht, wenn er seine Vorhand gelichtet hat. Ne? Deswegen mal droppen und dann mit Tempo wechseln arbeiten super. Ja. Und halte das Spiel vorne ruhig, wenn ihr oben dran seid. Und wir sahen den deutschen Coach Ingo Kinderfahrer. In action as well. Und wie gesagt, wir wissen genau, was sie wollen. Wir bleiben einfach auf dem Plan. 11 ist alles. Und wir haben die The Germans really have to watch out, making sure it's not slipping away from them. 13-11. Christina Peterson to surf. And that's going long, that's going way long at that back line. Trick shot, it's called in. I'm a little bit surprised that uh, challenge is not used on that one. But of course, Marvin Seidel was a lot, lot closer to it than me. No, I can see it here. It was landing right on the line. Good deceptive shot there by Matthias Christiansen. And that reply there from side with that half smash down the line just put him in into more trouble. And Matthias Christiansen easily could play that cross court whip. And here, good serving, serving wide. Instead of serving into the tee, into the center, he chose to serve wide. And look at that, how he's setting him up. 
So that was three very quick points for the Danes. 16-12. And strings gone. Over. 13, 16. And you see that a lot because the tension in these rackets is just so high. And you very often see that uh, when they intercept in situations like that, strings are broken and points are lost. what I said at the mid-game interval. I said the Germans really have to watch out. They were 11-10 down, but at 13-11. It looked like the Danes were really trying to pick up the pace, and they had such a good run of three points from 13-12 to 16-12. She's celebrating in style. Service over. 19 40. to go across court in that one. He really loves it. And I think actually another string broken. Look how he's waiting for that one, whipping it across. 20, 10 points, 14. So 20 game point, 14. For the Danes. Yeah, that's a beautiful disguise shot there by Seidel. Smiling a bit because he probably knows that's a little bit too little too late. Comes 21 15 for Denmark and Matthias Christiansen and Christina Peterson have won the first game 21 15. Ja, ja, rigtig godt. Men, men nøglen, det, vi stadig lige får de to overspillinger på, og vi får, får åbnet banen lidt for os. Og så vi, vi, vi bliver vi ved med at holde indtil hun, indtil hun fanger det. Skub ind over hovedet på hende lige med en lille prik på. Og ellers bredt på, hvis vi trykker. Ikke? Han, han går frem gennem midten. Hvis vi trykker, så går han frem og trykker igen. Så 
meter hen og lurer, når de har gode ja. længde på løftet, så lurer han. Ja, så kommer han fremad. Meter. Ja, ja, så kommer han fremad. Der skal den egentlig bare ja, i den modsatte ja, Jeg lænser altså bare mod hende. Ja, ja og, 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 det, og det er helt, fint. Det er helt ja. fint. Og man kan sige, at de gange, hvis du rammer ham, hvor han går frem i dig, så, så den kommer flat tilbage til De er så svære at styre til igen over hende. Spil, bare spil den der over hende, når de skubber den ind i brystet på dig, hvis du ikke kan gøre noget. Man har kun to, så det er lige. Ja, 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 ja. Du kan ikke nå at orientere dig, så når du, hænger, du ved, når du hænger, så ved du bare, at han går frem. Ja, det vil vi stadig huske, at vi har overspil med, og så vi bliver ved med at have den her tænding, hvor vi sidder på dem. Vi skal ikke gå meget ned, så, så sidder de oppe i hovedet på os. Du styrer ja. hende genialt op på det hegn der. Og selvom du skal ikke bare, hun, hun går helt vildt. Hun, hun, du har lagt den siden, hun laver fejl på dem. Ja. Det ved med, ja, lige præcis, lige præcis. Ja. Lige præcis. Altså, det, det, de, de fungerer hver gang og fungerer hele tiden. Ja. Præcis. jeg også bedre ind på nettet, så ligger jeg lidt over hende. Hvis det er dem, der styrer, så ligger hun lige over mig hele tiden. Og så tænk på det der, som Chris sagde med Deffen. Hvis han ligger og bygger op, så flytter vi om over den anden side, frem i banen begge to. Vi skal, vi skal, vi skal ikke føle, at vi skal lave noget hernede fra. Ja, der er jo gerade en ziemlich strahl geschoben. Ja. Aber wenn er so spielt, dann kann er den Satz auch mal haben. Das ist okay. Ja, ja, wichtig. Ich wollte mit Kott ein bisschen anstrengend spielen. Das ist das, ist das Ding. Er wird auch im falschen Moment dann versucht, das Tempo gegenzuhalten. Ja. So, also, was sie machen wollen, ist halt, die treiben euch breit und wollen euch dann halt auskontern über außen. So, ja. Das heißt, erstens ein bisschen mehr über Mitte gehen. Ja, so auch schon mit dem Push aus der Rückhand. Ja, weißt du? ja. What the Danish coach Thomas Dangor was saying was that uh, Christina Peterson was having very good control of uh, Linda Effler at the net and uh, was playing really well up there. To me, it's the fact that uh, when chances are coming, Matthias Christiansen as well is really able to put the shots away. So far, as you can see, we are having very, very short rallies. There has been no rally longer than 20 shots. So it's a very aggressive, but also injury-prone. Sorry, not injury-prone, but uh, prone to mistakes. Here, once again, probably only five or six shots, and then the rally is over. So the Danes, quite a good start here, comfortably up for one. Going long. Let's call out, but we have a challenge. So 
the Danes a 6-1 up, but I suspect it will be 2-6. Germany to serve, because I think that was looking too long to me anyway, but let's see what Holkar has got to say. Yep, there's out. Challenge unsuccessful. So not successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Two, six. Clear. So that's a racket number three, three broken six. from, uh, not the racket, but the strings broken from uh, Matthias Christiansen in this match. So the Germans catching up here for six. But that was a good opportunity for Linda Efler, but she missed it. And I think she knows. If I was in the shoes of the Germans, I would definitely try to start finding the gaps in order to create some lifts for some attack, because at the moment they are not attacking enough. And these kind of mistakes is not helping the course. Linda Evelyn must get these over. Made a few easy errors here. And she cannot afford that. The thing is that you can actually move Christina Peterson oh. sidewise. She will find it very difficult to get into, into the rallies because she's covering one side of the court. I would say committing it to at least 80-85%, which gives a gap either cross-court or straight, depending on where she's standing, and that gap can be explored. Yeah, that was good play from the Germans. But they're still down 10-5 and have to find the answers. Danes fairly comfortable on top here, attacking most of the time, scoring most points, and as I mentioned earlier, fairly comfortable. Good return of serve from Matthias Christiansen. And what a way to go into the mid-game interval. Clipping the top of the tape from a shot played below the tape, which was really well played by Matthias Christiansen. 11-5 in just 10 minutes.
Ja, så kommer du ind i alle, alle mellembanebolde, men det er ikke så meget, at Chris kommer hurtigt på hegnet. Den kommer ind i hovedet på dem, sådan på mellembanen, så går det så stærkt for dem. Ja, men vi skal ellers med at holde fokus herinde. Ja. Kom, 20 sekunder. Kom så her. Ja, die letzten Ballwechsel waren vom Spielprinzip super. Wenn jetzt über die Mitte zieht, so. wenn er den ja nicht deswegen Nadel äh, spielt, dann holt ihr den Ballwechsel auch. Wichtig ist so, wir müssen weiter sehen, dass wir ein bisschen deren Lauf unterbrechen. Ne? Das heißt, ganz viel Zeit lassen. Jedes Mal so einen klaren, unterschiedlichen Plan für die Aufschlagphase entwerfen. Ja? Probiert da was. Ja, ein bisschen mit der Annahme spielen, ein bisschen mit den Aufschlägen spielen, sodass sie viele verschiedene Lösungen brauchen. Ja? Dass sie nicht einfach so weiterlaufen dürfen. Ja. Wir müssen jetzt ganz That's going long. Service over. Good return of serve there by side of the butt. Christiansen had actually seen it and had a very good reply to it. However, that was going long on the back line. And once again, I think, you know, side of maybe six. should mix up his services and uh, flick a few as well because uh, Matthias Christiansen is moving forward very quickly. Danes up 14 6. Christina Peterson serving. Once again holding the serve for a very long time. Service over. 7 14. looking to win this match in two games 15-7 up and uh, having one comfortable 21-15 in the first not really under pressure a lot of mistakes are creeping into uh, the game of the Germans and uh, in a way it looks a little bit like they have uh, given up find it so hard to score Serve came from Matthias Christiansen and a block shot from uh, Christina Peterson. They are in total control of this match. 17 7, 10 point lead. 17 7. They can't miss it, can they? Once again, we will have this service situation where Seidel serves to Matthias Christiansen. And let's see if he serves into the tee once again. No, he did not. But unfortunately for him, that was going long. But it was the right choice. I really think that was the right choice. Matthias Christiansen, he committed fully to that low serve. And the flick serve came. Luckily for him, it was going out. over 9 19 so still 
10 points lead and just two points away from taking this round of 16 match and going into the quarterfinals for Christy Peterson and Matthias Christiansen. 10-19. has arrived a whole host of match points 10 in total 20 Number match point 10 20. Match point. <laughs> and here it comes first time of asking 21 10 the Danes playing a solid match here, winning 21-15, 21-10 in just 35 minutes. the match point the push down to the forehand side of Seidel by Christina Peterson very decisive shot and the Danes take this match in two straight games and here we've got the confirmation 21 15 21 10 in 35 minutes and the Danes safely through to the quarterfinals tomorrow Marvin Seidel leading the players off the court and we will have the highlights of this match coming up to you very shortly. And here we have the results of the day. And uh, what a day it has been so far. Great badminton. Perhaps the biggest surprise to me was that Sign and Abel won so easily in the first match against Kana Yamaguchi. And uh, perhaps another surprise to me was that Kosit Petpradap won also quite comfortable 21 12, 21 19 against N. Karlong of Hong Kong. So please join us again at five o'clock local time and from me Morton Frost and the rest of the team bye for now <laughs>